Today we're doing an experiment of the water solubility test between the Kimberly Clark 4735. This is the Metro toilet paper, that way you can be sure that the product is good. Um, the test is really simple. Basically what we do is we get the paper, put it into, into a water bottle, fill it with some water and give it a good hard shake as if that's the same action as would be in the toilet. And then we pour it down the sink and then you can have a look at the size of the fibres. If the fibres are really big then that's more likely the, um, is, is, is worse than fibres that are smaller which means it will be easier to go through the toilet system. So first thing we've got the Kimberly Clark paper we can have a look at the quality of the paper we can also look at the quality of the Metro and you can see it's a it's a nicer pattern, the Metro is a nicer pattern than the Kimberly Clark in terms of the quality as well as you can see with the fibres so anyway, so let's do the Kleenex first. Ten sheets of paper which we've measured up to here. So that's ten sheets of paper. Put it into an empty bottle. What we're going to do is just fill it with some water. As such. And give it ten hard shakes. As you can see, the Kimberly Clark breaks down pretty well. The fibers are pretty small, so it breaks down pretty well in the toilet. Now I'll just rinse the bottle out. Now we're going to do the Metro toilet paper. Here we have the Metro, also 10 sheets. Also give it 10 good shakes. And as you can see, with the Metro toilet paper, it is almost like puree, so it's much finer than, say, the Kimberly Clark over here, which you can see the fibers are much bigger. So bigger fibers, and these are smaller fibres, meaning that this is less likely to cause a blockage or, in other words, be better for the toilet system than the Kimberly Clark. So if the Kimberly Clark is fine, then the Metro toilet paper would definitely be fine. Thank you.